Tonight, Michael comes home again. Hey guys, me host Superstar, thank you very much for tuning in, look what I got! It's the Halloween 2 box set of Michael Myers <laughs> and Dr. Loomis. This is the coolest set I think I've ever owned. I've been wanting the, doc, the, the, the Dr. Loomis figure for some time. I've had this box set and I, do you know what? Because of all the backlog of content, I forgot I even owned this. <laughs> It was in the very back of the cover and waiting for review. And it's just been, obviously, other, th other, th other stuff's just been added on top of it. So this has been sat there for a little while now. Uh, but I still want to unbox it and I still want to look at it. I got this from, God, I think it was Horrorcon last year. And we're coming up to Horrorcon again. So I think it's been like a year since I've like owned this nearly, maybe. Uh, but yeah, Halloween 2, the box set. The Ultimate Michael Myers with, Do with Dr. Loomis. It's got the 40 years anniversary sticker on there as well. And it just says the nightmare isn't over. So let's jump down, guys, and have a quick look at this awesome packaging because it is absolutely stunning. So here we are, guys. The nightmare isn't over. I love that. That is so cool. And there's that 40 years logo. Yeah, it just looks so good. And if we turn it around, we've got some nice product shots. Very cool. And again, open it up. Yeah, look at that. Let's bust these guys out of the packaging. So, Halloween 2. It's a movie I've seen, but it's a movie that I've not watched as much as Halloween 1. Halloween 1 was kind of like the movie that I watched every Halloween, uh, the original. But Halloween 2 was never really on my watch list that often, so I kind of need to give that a rewatch here. What's the backdrop in the box? Oh, it's like a hospital thing. That's cool. That's a cool one. I like when NECA do that. They put, they put these really cool, fancy card backs in them. Uh, they're great for photography and stuff. Oh, box is falling apart on me. Okay, so we've got two trays as well. There's a secondary tray uh, in here. Oh, we're stuck with a bit of cello. Let's get some scissors on that. So there's loads of fire effects and a second set of arms as well for, Lo for Loomis. So that's nice. So we can have him with or without the jacket. And yeah, loads of fire effects and things for this one. Uh, let me just pop those. Where am I going to pop those? I'm just under here. Okay. So we need to free the figures. So one rope tie, two rope tie, three rope tie, four rope tie. I think that's all of them. Grab those bits of plastic. Yeah. And because every set that has, you know, from my, from the Halloween set always comes with a pumpkin. So I've got another pumpkin for the collection. We get the alternate Michael head in this as well. Uh, I did get the updated ultimate um, Halloween 2 Michael as well from NECA not long ago. Uh, so I do have this figure already. Uh, but you can never have too many Michaels in the collection. Plus that means I can have one with the white mask with the blood and one without. So it's good enough. And then... Oh, God. There is the uh, the skull. We've got two pistols that come with this one, which is nice. And they're like proper like old school sheriff pistols, which is nice. So they're good for the collection. We have a lighter hand. So that's another good hand for the collection. Uh, plenty more hands for Loomis as well. What else we get? Uh, we've got the same weapons that we got with the Ultimate two, with the Ultimate Michael 2 as well. It's the same. It's the same little group of weapons: the syringe, scalpel, bread knife, and hammer. We've got. We have had those, but I got this set mainly to get Doctor Loomis. He's the one that I've been wanting from this set because uh, I don't have him in the collection. Um, so yeah, he was desperately needed. I like the fact that they give you the the option of having him with or without the coat as well. So that's pretty nice. So gives you a bit of customize, your customizability, if you will. Is that even a word? Customizability. Right guys, we've unboxed this one. You guys know as well as I do, we don't keep boxes in this house. I am not an in I'm not a box guy, I'm an out of box collector. So guys, three, two, one, let's give it a date. See ya box. And guys, we're gonna jump straight on down to the desk cam so you guys can get this up close personal look at these awesome figures. So let's head on down to the desk cam. 
Okay guys, here we are with both figures out of the packaging. Let's start with Michael. Uh, this, like I say, is a figure we've had previously um, in my collection. This is a new version of, oh, sorry, this is the old version of the skull. I got the updated one, which like opens up. But this is the older one. Still awesome. That's really cool. I love having all the pumpkins. It's great at Halloween because I've got like 10 pumpkins now. So I can make like a proper little pumpkin patch. Uh, then we get the Michael as well. Uh, it's a NECA figure, and it's you know there's a there's a lot going on here. Um, so we got all the bullet holes and puncture wounds, and Michael's damaged up at this point. But I like I like that look for Michael, where he's a bit damaged up because that's how I always picture him. And again, there's the, like a greeny, bluey tinge to this jumpsuit as well, like it's been used. Again, I like that feel. Um, articulation, it's a NECA figure, so heads on a ball joint. We can make him sort of look around a little bit. Um, not too much, but then again, Michael's not one for over exaggeration, so we don't really need to animate too much for Michael. Arms lift out at the sides, as well as they can go completely 180 all the way around. We do get some nice double hinged elbows here, though. There's some plenty of movement in this elbow hinge, which is nice. And hands as well are on, uh, you know, uh, movement. You can move those around quite easily, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and then we get the. Uh, this hands for like the knife, bread and like, like the knife, I think. Uh, the legs lift out to the side as well as forwards, uh, which is quite far because this is all this is all like rubbery cloth. Sorry, rubbery like material, so you can move it around quite a lot. Uh, there is a single hinge knee there as well, which has a little bit of a give in it. And the feet are on rocker and pivot with display peg holes. Should you wish to use a display base, I've never had to use a display base with my NECA Michael Myers. I don't think he it, it stands pretty well. You don't really need to. Um, he's got the one hand which is sort of just static, and then we've got the other hand which is the stab hand. So they're pretty cool. There's a bunch of other hands as well, but I believe these are all for Loomis. But that's okay, because all the weapons will fit into this little hand anyway. Plus, I, I won't be using any weapons from this box set, because I will put one of the regular um, like knives for Michael in these hands. I'm never a fan of this hand. They always use this hand, and I'm not a massive fan of it. I think it's awkward to put things in his hand. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can change out, I'm gonna change out that hand. Definitely changing out the hand. Yeah, so I swapped it out and that hand's much easier for adding the weapons and stuff, so that one's much better, so I'll be leaving that hand on. I'll leave the other hand on as an open pa as an open palm hand, so I think that looks good. Plus, it's good if I'm doing any form of, you know, thing where you're wanting to grab or touch or, you know, you can kind of reach out for things and it looks a bit more realistic with a, rather than a, a grab hand. Like a, like a, a grip hand, should I say. Um, plus, let me lift the head, the desk cam up a little bit on this one. Let's pop this head off. Because we do have the alternate head as well. And we do, we do have this head, which is the uh, Red Tears head. Like I said, I've got one figure already, which I use this head on. So I like this face sculpt. Oh, hang on. Let me take this off. Cameras make it easier. Ugh. Yeah, so I already used this head sculpt on my current Michael 2. So I will be I will be switching back to this one for the static for the uh, original look. But yeah, I do have this uh, on my current Michael 2. It is a nice head sculpt. But again, I'm definitely going to go back and swap back to the original for me for this figure. Like I say that I can have two different versions of the same Michael on my shelf and they don't look out of place. There it is. Much better. Other than that, we have we do have all the fire accessories to add so, you know, set set Michael on fire, ah, which is very cool. They are all over, they all just kind of slot onto him, which is nice. So there's some great ways of, you can set him on fire and all that good stuff. There's lots of different ones just to you can kind of clip around him and make him look like he's burning, burning as he's walking through the fire and stuff. That's very cool. Those there's some nice effects there. Right. That's kind of what we've kind of looked at Michael quite a bit here. So let's move across, bring that camera back down a little bit, and let's take a look at Dr. Loomis. Now, Do Dr. Loomis, oh, I'm going to start my camera out. There we go. Dr. Loomis is a new figure for me. So I'm loving the idea that we do get the both options of having, uh, you know, a regular suited version or the coat version, depending whether he's indoors, outdoors, wherever you want to do. Gives you a lot of options for customization and a lot of Austin options for photos he's got a gun trigger finger already hand he will both be fair both are gun tr gun hands um and you can also get the lighter hand as well which is kind of cool i like that lighter hand 
But uh, for me, it's just going to be the one hand uh, with the gun in. I might have to. I might have to sit and watch uh, Halloween Two tonight now. I might have a Michael. I might even have a Michael uh, binge watch. I might sit and watch all of them. I might watch Halloween One and Two. There we go. That's awesome. Very cool. I like that a lot. And as well, as we know, we can swap. We can swap it out, so we can also have him in the suit version. Which is like this, which is 100% the one I'm using for display. I will be keeping the jacket and the extra arms um, in storage uh, because I will. I, I want to display him the way I've got him now in the suit. I think that's nice. I like that. I know the trench coat is more iconic, I think, but I like this look because I can also use it for other figures. It's a good all around just doctor suit style character. Whether you you know, you know I can use in lots of fig figure photography and dioramas and things. So I'll be keeping Loomis just like this on my shelf. Uh, but yeah, it's an awesome figure. It's a great, and I'm I'm so happy to have him in the collection. Finally, it's one that I've been wanting for some time. Um, I wish NECA would make more figures like these, like you know, because they've done quite a few now for for Halloween. Whereas we're still waiting on characters like Nancy, um, you know, for on the Nightmare on Elm Street. And do you know what? Um, they have made a Laurie Strode, but I I still think they could make a proper like a um, Halloween one Laurie. We've had that. I know we've had a Halloween two Laurie and stuff. We've had the older version of Laurie, but. It would still be cool to get the uh, like, ep you know, the first film version of Laurie. Plus, you know, they've done the Scream figures and they've made all sorts of other stuff, but they've never ever really given us, um, you know, like Neve Campbell and there's so many other, you know, the heroines of horror could be a really cool figure line, and I'm surprised Necker have not cashed in on it yet. Well guys, what are your thoughts on these action figures? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video today and you want to see more horror action figures like this on the channel, please let us know in the comments. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Soup Sorrel. I'll see you in the next video. But until then, may the force be with you. Bye! <laughs>